Frundi evokes mostly politics in most quarters. John Frundi has another part of his life. And that part of his life is when he became president of PWD Social Club of Bamenda. John Frundi would tell his story as president of PWD Football Club of Bamenda, alias Abakwa Boys. As the president of PWD Bamenda in those days, it meant enormous sacrifice. Sacrificing your time, sacrificing your money, and even sacrificing your life. Because in those days, football was hostile. And I want to say that I pride myself for bringing the hostility on the football field to an end. Uh, because when I came in with all that hostility, my first preoccupation was not just the footballing that people enjoy. I looked at football as a uniting factor. And uh, with the hostility, I saw it that one day it might be a dividing factor. So the biggest challenge I had then was how can I bring this hostility to an end? Then I decided that when the teams that were visiting us here, if they finished playing, I always took them out to give them a meal. I entertained them in the Ringway Hotel then and brought some of them once in a while to my home here for them to have something to eat, something to drink. And when these players are eating, drinking together, they point their fingers at each other. That thing you did me, you do it again, I'll teach you a lesson. You say, yes, we are talking, we're in our president's house. The other people will be claiming you as president, they will be saying this is our president's house. And with that, you see, all those hostilities came to an end. So it was all the sacrifices that uh, we had to do in those days. And I think that anybody who is president of a football club should be prepared to sacrifice. I have a couple of memorable days. And uh, these memorable days were when we had problems on this field. For instance, there was a match we had with uh, Federal Fumban. Uh, as the president of the football club, it was my uh, place and role to see that I bring the population under control and uh, when the for instance you will see that most of the problems we had on the field were caused by the referees who will a free a referee who uh, out of nowhere award the penalty against your team and uh, come up with blunt and cheatings in the presence of the people and when these people are enraged and they start fighting well even if you see that what the referee did was wrong, you have to stop your people. And as we were struggling to get the people together, the policemen fell on me and got me well beaten. Those days that we had real serious fightings on the football field here and the steady here in Bamenda were preoccupying to me. And I think that uh, uh, those were very challenging moments. And as I said, I asked myself how I could bring all those fightings to an end. Well, first I had to bring the, the players together. They ate, chatted, and uh, those differences were ironed out. But the problem I had was with the referees. Where a referee will come, they want you to bribe a referee. They want you to go looking for women, for the referee. And uh, in my own nature, I couldn't stand that. And I tell you, I stand challenged today. If somebody will point a finger that Frundi you went to a native doctor here or you went to a referee here to give money for a bribe, I never bribed and I never accepted bribes. Because as we talk, it's both ways. Where player, a, a team will come to you to say that they want to negotiate, will pay, will get, uh, get a match. Uh, a team came to buy a match. Now, I calculated that if I gave the match to the team out here, it was going to help me not to go to far distances. Now, this team really wanted to buy. But the other topical issue, critical thing that I refused, uh, either selling matches, for instance, was that if I should sell, maybe the day I will need a help. If I don't have the money to buy, and buying at the cost that the person will charge me, it means that I will be the biggest loser. So I preferred negotiating to help than to sell. Out of that, you were a family man and you were out following PW the Bermenda wherever they were going to, spending your time. Did it not affect your domestic life? 
Yeah, my domestic life is that which, uh, uh, fortunately for me, my wife understood me well. That as a businessman, I used to leave my house by 3 a.m. going to Yaoundé or Douala. I'll go to Nigeria, spend a week, come back. And she knew my life as that of a businessman. And she supported my social activities in footballing as also the uh, domestic activities, whatever thing I did. In fact, my wife, fortunately for me, was very, very understanding, very agreeable, and we worked together as a pair. Uh, but suffice it to say that uh, sometimes the over demanding attitude of the players got on her nerves and if she had any moment to get angry it was because some of the players were really getting on their nerves uh, on her nerves and uh, but again she had her fun with them that sometimes uh, when the players would come she'll cook the eat when they eat and they're not satisfied they take their place and they spoons and their kingling mommy oh we no flop mommy oh we no flop mommy oh and they'll come meet her right in the kitchen and uh, uh, instead of getting angry she just burst out laughing you know so we had all this fun together and uh, i think that i appreciated those days and i appreciated her understanding very much the children did not miss daddy during those periods oh, well the, the children uh, then we were still very young uh, and uh, those that will once in a while insist to go with me on the field you'll see they'll be jumping and shouting and trying to kick and all the like it was fun for them